Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another one of my videos. Well, I'm very excited for today and I want to try this foundation, Kaya Cosmetics foundation and also the concealer today. I'm sorry for my voice because it's very early. I woke up like half an hour ago and I'm ready to finish my makeup before the work. So if you want to see me trying this for the first time and wear all day at work, which is a kind of a risk, then please keep on watching. Uh, Kaya Cosmetics released its iconic liquid silk foundation and it's supposed to be good for all skin types and it says this iconic foundation gives you a natural finish that lasts, it feels weightless and your skin and has a medium buildable coverage with blurring properties. This light silky smooth texture gives you a flawless results. It contains hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and UV filters that moisturizes and protects the skin. It's iconic, shake well before use. Now I got it in shade 2 and I was using their shade app that they have on the website and I added a couple of my foundations that I wear and every time I got another shade, I got like 3W or 3C, 1W, two and it always came differently which is for me was strange so i just went with two and i felt i saw bianca use three n and three w which is i think she's a little bit more tan than i am so i went with this one so this is going to be totally a risk because i saw two three videos with people trying this foundation already and i shouldn't have watched it because two of those didn't like this foundation at all one of them said this shade was gray Kind of scares me. I did swatch it yesterday. It looked a little bit more yellow to, for me than grey, but we'll see. Uh, this is grey and she, the, the other one, or both of them, didn't like the foundation. The third girl, she thinks the foundation was okay. <laughs> I was really excited and hoping. So that those videos kind of got me scared and I don't know why I even watched. Nobody liked this concealer. Not nobody, that means weird, but those three girls that I watched didn't like this concealer. Uh, but I'm so hopeful, so I'm excited. I really like Kai Cosmetics stuff, I own almost everything of them and... Oh, it has something that helps to shake this foundation. So let's just go with it. It has a pump, which I really like. It's very liquid, I don't know if you can see it, hear it. Very liquidy. So let's, it's kind of cute, nice packaging, but I, you only get, how much do you get? 30 milliliters. And how did I, how much did I get here in Kaya Cosmetics? Not Kaya Cosmetics, this doesn't say on this packaging. Yes, yes, 30 milliliters. So you get the same amount. So I'm really shaking this. And um, let's take some pumps on my hand. So I don't know. It looks yellow though. It doesn't look great to me. I'm going to use um, a sponge. Yeah, I'm going to use the sponge because I am actually going to film another video with you trying this foundation even if I don't like it. Just another try because oh, that went on very fast. Pump. I think the sponge cannot drink some of the foundation. Can't find my brush for foundation. Oh, there you go. Let's try it with a brush too. I'm going to use the Cash Beauty foundation foundation brush. One pump of the foundation. Let's go with the brush. I mean, it goes on nice. It's very lightweight. For me, it looks more like that Catrice foundation. It's very, or Estee Lauder Double. It it goes on very nice on my face. So I'm going to go in with the brush all over the face, and then I think I want to go in with a sponge. This is the third pump. I don't mind using more foundation. Thir three pumps is kind of quite a lot. Did I use a primer? No, I forgot to use a primer. Let's take off this foundation again and let's use a primer because I just used my moisturizer and I can't go with to work 
with only moisturizer I need to go with. I'm, I'm so stupid. I'm too tired, guys. That's the problem. I'm too tired. I'm not such an idiot. Really a big idiot. But I really like how it went on the skin. I have oily T-zone, so that's why I always feel like I need a primer. Uh, but I got too excited, so... I am going to go in with my Becca under eye primer. So I'm too... I didn't have my coffee. I didn't have my coffee. I'm going to do also full face of Kaya Cosmetics, or that will come on my channel too, but I uh, didn't want to do that right now because I wanted to try the foundation it's by itself with the primers that I really like, but I do have Kaya Cosmetics primer. I like that one too, but it's just nothing, you know, special, special. Uh, I'm going to go in with NYX primer, which is new favorite. I just feel the texture is weird, but it works like magic. Maybe I applied a little bit too much. Maybe too much of the primer. <laughs> so, let's try again. Let's take this again. <laughs> oh, I wasted so much foundation. But that happens. It's okay. It's okay. I do have plenty of foundation, so... I can always buy a new one if I like it. So let's go again. Try it this time with a brush. Two pumps. Where is that brush now? Cash Beauty. Oh, it goes, you see, it goes more full coverage with a brush than it did before without the primer, with primer. So primer to go with this foundation. Yes, it's, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. It goes on really, really, really nice. It is definitely, like I said before, like the Catrice HD foundation or Estee Lauder double, double wear. It kind of gives me those vibes, you know, that, that kind of soft, liquidy feeling, like uh, even Physician's Formula, the one that I used which I don't remember right now which one it was, but... So the shade is not too bad. It's definitely a little bit deeper than my skin tone, but I like that. It's not too deep. I'm going to go over with the sponge just to, you know, make everything even. I like going in with the sponge, always. I never use only brush. Sometimes I always, for the most times, I only use the sponge because it's the fattest, fastest way for me um, in the mornings, but I mean, it looks like my skin. Yeah, I really like how it looks. It looks like my skin and I like the color. I mean, it, I'm I'll definitely weird. I know how it looks, you know, in the lights, but so far so good. Let's. Well, that's the outside packaging with a concealer. So let's go in with the concealer. This is also 2N. Now, they said that concealer is going to be uh, one or two shades lighter than a foundation just because to bright uh, your under eyes. So, can I read here? This full coverage concealer with a satin radiance is your solution to a flawless complexion, weightless, high coverage, Guarantees a flexible and natural skin-like finish, enriched with a winter Daphne extract to protect your skin and hyaluronic acid for hydration. So that's... Do I need to shake this one too? I don't know. I really like the foundation. It really looks good. Yeah, so it's definitely a little bit lighter. I'm not going to go, you know, crazy in. But I can always build it up if I want to more, if I need more coverage. They also released four different, I think it was four different, four different brushes and sponge, but I didn't get those because I just got new sponges and new brushes and I didn't need more, uh, but I do like their brushes. I do have uh, eye brushes from Kai Cosmetics. I mean, I really like the concealer. It's definitely medium coverage, maybe full if you use the brush. But of course you can build it up, but it looks really nice. Now my under eye are a little bit puffier today. And it goes on really, really nice with this foundation. I do have 
a lot of texture on my eyes and I do have a lot of wrinkles on my eyes, smile lines, plenty of smile lines. But it doesn't exaggerate them. It looked very terrible when the girls applied the powder on top, so that I'm kind of nervous about. So let's go in with the powder. I already have powder here in front of me. It's the Shiseido. <laughs> it's Shiseido. I can't speak today. So I'm just going to take just a little bit of the powder on the my eyes. I say a little bit, but it looks heavy now. It's so it definitely smoothed a little bit my pores and everything. It looks a little bit drier here when I smile, but I mean, all of the concealers look like that on me. It looks much better now when I use the Becca Cosmetics under eye primer. That's what I like with under eye primers. Just makes everything a little bit smoother, but when I smile, it does a little, look a little bit dry, but that looks like that always. So far, so good. So I'm going to set everything. So I also um, ordered the Jaclyn Hill new powder, so I'm kind of excited. And now the eye primer, I'm excited for that. And I'll be liking to go in with my Hourglass powder, veal powder. I just take a little bit on my big brush, swirl it around and just go over my face. It kind of gives me that nice healthier glow, but doesn't make me look oily. But I do that after I went in with another powder to you know, hold my oils in control. So that look, I look weird, but my makeup is not finished. So I'm going to go uh, right now and look very close how it looks. It looks nice. I mean, my eyes look a little bit drier, uh, dry, but it doesn't look terrible. I just think, I feel like when I look close, um, I feel like I didn't blend maybe my concealer perfectly. I'll see a little bit of a patch here, a patch here. On the eyes, just, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you can see it, but here it looks cakey, down here. I will cover that with foundation, but not foundation, eyeshadow. But um, I don't know, I, I love the foundation so far. So I'm going to go, it's now 7.15. And I'm going to go and finish my makeup and I'll be back to tell you my thoughts. Okay guys, so I mm, did my foundation and all of my makeup. Now I'm going to go down and fix my hair. But right now it's, let me show you the time, 7.24. And I'll be having this foundation for around 30, 35 minutes. Foundation looks flawless. It looks really, really good. Um, now the concealer, it looks very dry and cakey down here uh, but I'm going to wear it all day and tell you later maybe it doesn't work with some powder so I will go definitely try another powder next time but I really love the foundation I'm obsessed now I just want to tell you fast what I have on my eyes I did set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter so on my eyes I do have this palette this is the the escape pod from Ka uh, Kalo, Ka Kaleidos, Kaleidos, I can't pronounce the name, sorry. <laughs> then I also have the Luna Beauty blush palette on, Morphe Icon bronzer. Um, on my lips I do have Patrick Ta lip gloss in shade, she's an influencer. On my lashes I do have the High Sky Mascara and also I have the eye brightener from uh, Care Cosmetics. What else? I think that's everything. Yes, uh, a Natasha Denona highlighter, the super glow highlighter. So that's what I have on. I do have full face on makeup for Care Cosmetics, but like I said, I'm going to do a different video for that. Uh, so far, the foundation looks flawless. It definitely looks like my skin. I'm not obsessed with the concealer it definitely started looking very cakey here so this is a risk going to work like this I work as a teacher at school everybody is in my face all the time so <sighs> definitely something I need to think about and also when I was applying the blush here I don't know if you can see 
this part it's a little bit patchy the blush didn't really want to stick evenly on that side um, I don't know if that's the foundation I'm not I don't think so I think that will look like that on other parts of the face maybe I didn't exfoliate um, enough it was like a couple of days ago since I exfoliate and I always exfoliate at least every second day so maybe that's the reason why I didn't stick because yesterday when I used the Rebecca Stella I did the same thing on the same spot so that could be my skin but everything else looks pretty good so I'm going to go with my day and I'll let you know later what I think so see you later bye okay hi guys welcome back I have to take my glasses off and I just came home I'm very tired let's just see the time is 20 to 5 so I've been having this foundation for over nine hours and this is how it looks I didn't touch up I didn't do anything it's how it looks it was very windy and rainy outside so I was wet all over my face um, and my hair it's what because you see it's a little bit frizzy because it was wet and um, I thought my foundation would look like crap but this is how it looks I do look shiny so I just I don't feel shiny but I do like shine do look shiny so let's see now my foundation were worn off here around my mouth but I'll be touching touching my I was having meetings the whole uh, morning so I was like sitting like this and touching my chin all the time so it's gone but I really love this foundation I have to be honest I really like this foundation it looks very flawless it looks like my skin uh, it actually really looks like my skin uh, it looks very nice on my nose I do look sh shiny I do have my oils uh, now through the foundation but it still looks really really good my forehead looks very nice everything here looks very nice um, so I, I really like this foundation I really I really I'm really happy that I like this foundation because I was kind of like I said this morning I was very nervous that I'm not going to like it I do like it so this is definitely win definitely going to use I will actually do a full face of care cosmetics that will come uh, this week on my channel so I'll try this with the Kaya Cosmetics primer and also eyeshadows and bronze and blush and everything from Kaya Cosmetics except the setting powder because they don't have a powder yet but I will try it with another powder. I will use another powder that I used this set to, than I did today. Today I did use my Shiseido. I do have a little bit left of it, so I do want to use it up. Like this powder very much. But let's talk about the concealer. I don't. <laughs> I'm always honest on my channel. I love all of the Kaya Cosmetics products that I tried so far, except the concealer. My first impression is that I do not like the concealer. Uh, let me just say, I, I love Makeup Revolution concealer. This is the holy grail. This is one that I, I can absolutely trust. I love and it's going to, to be my best. I like Norse concealer, uh, the liquid the foundation. This is it's powder on it this one mm, it's a little bit heavy to use under my eyes so I use it to spot conceal uh, but not really under my eyes because it's too drying but the other one in the you know in this kind of packaging I love that one I am obsessed with Joa's Beauty this doesn't exist in Sweden Joa's Beauty but it does in US I love this really loved it I also am obsessed with Rebecca Stella's concealer I've used it you know for the first time the first time I used it I fell in love this I do not love I'll try it again I will try it. I will try it with other powders because I want to give it another shot they say it's very good for me it looks very drying I did use my under eye back under eye primer and so like this it looks a little bit cakey under my eyes but it looks my under eyes this part of my under eye this part from here to here it's very dry it looks looks also dry which is kind of weird because it says to be a luminous uh, let me just read on the package you know I don't have my glasses on but 
and this is like silver and white text on the silver packaging it's not the easiest text to read when it freak it reflects light but let's see it's full coverage concealer with a satin satin radiance satin radiance no it's drying i have oily skin and oily t-zone and this part of my eyes is a little bit dry this part is dry and you can see that because this concealer is very dry it's very dry under my eyes you can see how oily i am from here down but this part is dry can you see it i hope you can see it on camera i didn't touch up i didn't um, remove my oils just because i wanted to show you how weird it is because i found it very weird yeah when i smile these are very visible visible and uh, it looks very cakey i do not like this concealer so far but i am going to try it with another powder i'm going to tr also try to put more of it <sighs> maybe that will be a mistake but i used just a little bit and i feel like i couldn't use the less because i would like more of the coverage than I use but I didn't want you to go on over the top using too much just because I was afraid that it's going to look drying because I've seen in those two videos or three I watched that it they didn't like the concealer and um, I'm also a fan about it so you see I am touching my face and I remove my oil but foundation is still left yeah the foundation, the foundation is there but let's see if I tap a little bit of the foundation yes it does it's not transfer proof at all no it's not transfer proof but it still looks good on my forehead even if i removed it i was uh, itching myself here a little bit i had a uh, like pimple here that i'm itching so i removed a little bit of the foundation here but um the foundation is a little bit maybe just a shade darker than i would like it but I'm still going to use it. So I do like this foundation. I'm not liking the concealer. So concealer I won't use. Foundation I will. Uh, is it the best foundation I've ever tried? No. Uh, I think I prefer Rebecca Stella's. I prefer this one a little bit, just a little bit more. I also prefer the, um, what it's called, the cat. Catrice foundation, HD foundation, but it's a good foundation. I'm happy with it, happy with the purchase. So I'll definitely do another try out with this concealer. I will also try foundation with the Kaya Cosmetics uh, primer and see how it will wear that with that too. But I'm tired. I need to remove this makeup, wash my face and just relax or actually not relax, go clean my house. It's time to clean. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave the comments down below. What do you think? Have you tried it yourself? I'm curious to know. Let me down down below what favorite concealer do you have right now and the foundation. I'm very curious. I want to try new foundations and concealers. So please let me know down below if you have any suggestions. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye.